Do you guys want to know how to get ready for a picking sale? We're going through 27 days of vintage unboxings and yeah, 27 tips to help you become a master picker. Ooh, it's like a crash course. Come along. Solid metal little statue. It's a set. Ooh, this box needs some airing out, people. Feels like it just fluffed, but it's not, it's not fluff. I love little pictures. Always pick them up. Baby plates. Look at the look on her face face. If you're going to get ready for a picker sale, dressing down is really dressing up. Because you're going to get messy. There's going to be cobwebs. Sometimes animal smells. I've also seen rat poo. Picker sales tend to be a little dirtier than the rest. So put on your worst pair of jeans. I suggest jeans because then you don't have things touching your legs. These are messy goodness. We're not going to make it through this box, you guys. Speed style. Also clothes you don't mind bending down in or kneeling in. Cause yeah, you're gonna bend and kneel a lot. It's the one, two, one, two, seven, seven, two. If you can't bend and kneel to get this stuff like this, bring a friend who can. Cause dang, I mean, so cute. If you don't like germs, gloves might be your friend. I used to hate dirt, but I kind of got over it. If I ever see someone in heels, I know they're walking away with just one or two items. They're not picking like me. Amazing. If I see you at the next picker sale, I'll know you're a true vintage picker. If you've dressed for the mess and the heat, so put on those messy clothes and do some picking. There's something out there for you. See you tomorrow because we're going to unbox another one.